the zero, then we get one, two, three, here is four. Remember the binary numbers zero, zero, one, zero. That's a four. Then five, six, seven, which is one, 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 zero. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Electroaming. In today's video, we are gonna simulate a seven segment display using 74LS47 IC on Proteus. As you can see, I have aligned all the components in this order. So let's get familiar with the components. We have seven segment display over here. Then we have 74LS47 IC. We have use two capacitors and one deep deep switch with eight pins but we are going to use only the first four pins bunch of resistors and a normal switch the components you can just go in the component mode and you will click on p and you will search the required component and you can drop it over here so let's start the wiring the simulation from the inputs so I'm gonna connect the input input pins of the IC to the deep switch pin 1 goes to A or A0 pin 2 will be connected to B pin 3 to C and pin 4 to D now remember these numbers they represent the IC pins and also the, the numbers over here as well so the pins of the switches the pins of the switch will be connected to the pins of IC then we are going to uh, use our pull up resistors to pull up four bits into our inputs and we are gonna connect the inputs to ground so as you can see our pull up resistors uh, will be connected to power they are active high we don't need this resistor we will bring it down okay so four resistors and let's connect it to the input pins of the IC so for the first resistor I'm gonna connect it to the first pin of the deep switch the second resistor to second pin and the third one and the last one perfect so pin 4 and 5 I will connect it to our power I will go to terminals mode then I will click on power and I will place it over here then I will right click it rotate clockwise oops rotate 180 degrees perfect and I'm gonna click on it again and I will label it as 5 volts VCC perfect so pin 3 is our lamp test and in fact we are going to connect it to uh, a resistor with a with, with the pull-up resistor which will be connected to the power 5 volts so let's go over here okay pin 3 will be connected to our resistor in fact let's do it one more time we'll bring it down perfect then I will connect it to the pull-up resistor and from the pull-up resistor I will connect it to the switch okay so the lamp test when I whenever I press the push button switch there will be now let's connect our deep switches to ground so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna extend the wire over here and I will bring it down then I will connect the pin 7 to pin 8 pin 6 to pin 8 pin 5, 5 to pin 8 and they all will be connected to ground so again terminals mode we have ground over here and I will connect it to ground and I can remove the little circle over here so let me explain how the input wiring works when the switches are open the pull-up resistors will ensure that the input pins 
receive a logical one which is the inactive states however when the switches are pressed it will be it will connect the input pin to ground which overrides the effect of the pull up resistor and forces the input pin to a low voltage logical zero which is the active state so uh, we are done with the inputs we are done with the pull up resistors and the blinking inputs let's connect our output pins so the seven segment display is uh, actually simulated in such a way in which each of these pins you don't need to search for a b c d you have to just connect the pins to the output pins of the ic respectively so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna just connect the wires very simple and i have mentioned earlier that uh, this seven segment display is common anode it means that the pin which is over here has to be connected to power so again on terminals i'm gonna bring my power i'm gonna remove the dot and i'm gonna label it as 5 volt vcc perfect and i'm gonna use a, a 10 microfarad capacitor to reduce the noise since when the seven segment display is uh, fully turned on uh, it's gonna draw a little bit current so capacitor is there for safety and we are also using a, a bypass capacitor with the value of 0.1 microfarad which is connected to positive uh, to, to power 5 volts and to ground let's run the simulation and let's see whether the circuit works so as you can see we get a zero on the seven segment display which indicates that we have a zero 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 on the inputs if you go through the data sheet the decimal of zero has low 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 inputs so all of the inputs are active low and on the outputs all of the segments will be turned on except g which is off so g is our segment in the middle which is off but other the segments are on are all on now let's try to get a one so that's that's a one we have one zero 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 now let's get two so i will turn off it and then make this pin on we have two it's zero one zero zero okay then three then four then five six seven how we can get seven seven then eight nine and then if you want to make ten there is going to be a symbol as a c so let's go let's go through the data sheet ten when the first input is high second low third high and fourth low we get a decimal of 10 we get this symbol right over here let me zoom in a little bit this symbol over here now if we want to make 11 the symbol is going to be opposite of the previous symbol let's try, try to get 11 so right now we are 10 can i get 11 right that's 11 and 12 we get 12 on the seven segment display it says c which is uh, upward so let's go through the data sheet as you can see 12 is indicated as c then we have 13 which is like e and 14 which is like a, a f but in the other side so let's try to get 13 Now that's a that's a third that's which number? Yeah, exactly. That's thirteen. That's correct. And fourteen, which has to be eight, four, and two. So I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna turn this one on. So that's a fourteen. If you check the data sheet, fourteen is exactly same 
as this symbol now if you want to get 15 you all know what would happen this all the segments of the display will be off so and let's try to do something with the lamp test so lamp test i connect to a pull up resistor and then pull up resistor to 5 volts with a switch which will be connected to ground now if i press the switch there would be a zero in here which makes the all segments of the led to turn on let's see let me check as you can see whenever i as of right now the inputs we have zero 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 and we get a zero on seven segment display now if i press the push button switch the lamp test works all of the segments they would be turned on and we get the eight on seven segment display 